Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of my tutorial park. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use a plugin called the Riot Editor plugin. Now, I've already installed it here, but uh, I will quickly show you where you can download it. Okay, here we are on the website openrst2plugins.org, and here we should search for Riot Editor. And if you type that without spaces, uh, this plugin should pop up. Open RC2 Ride Editor. Uh, here you can see uh, a little bit of explanation, a change log. And to get the plugin, uh, just click the button here that says Get Plugin. And then here you see a JavaScript file, and you simply drag and drop that in your Open RC2 slash plugins folder, which you uh, should be able to find under Documents. Okay, when you have moved the JavaScript file into your uh, OpenRC2 uh, plugin folder, then over here you can find the Ride Editor. Now, um, I've actually used it uh, for this ride over here, which is the family boomerang that you see. Um, I will just quickly uh, make a ride here, a simple ride, and then I'll show you how the plugin works. Alright, uh, here I've built a simple uh, boomerang, or a family boomerang ride. Now, uh, normally you can change the track type by changing the ride type here, which is something which you do with the allow arbitrary ride type changes cheat. So it's enabled now, so then I can select a different ride type for the ride if I want. So let's say uh, I want this track type to be that of the junior roller coaster. And well, you can see some of the track pieces now become invisible since the junior coaster doesn't have sprites for all these track elements but it shows the elements uh, for which it does have sprites. Now let's change it back into the looping coaster. Now, um, yeah, for a uh, family boomerang, usually on the uh, lift hill, it, the track doesn't look like that. It uh, looks more open and it has uh, booster wheels on it to, uh, uh, yeah, to um, make the vehicle go up the, first, uh, the backward spike. Now, um, I already showed you that we cannot change the entire type to the junior coaster track because it doesn't have sprites for some of these elements. So uh, let's say we just want part of the track to be a different track type. Well, um, here we can then select an alternative color scheme. Let's go with uh, blue, but you could also paint it in the same color. I will just paint it blue now, just so the difference is more clear. And then here we open the right editor plugin now, then we'll have to find our ride in a list. You can use the arrow keys like this. But uh, since we already have a lot of rides in the park, it's uh, easier to just look for it in the list. It's called Looping Roller Coaster 1. Now, then here we select uh, Alternative Color Scheme 1, which is the color scheme that we used here for the back spike. And then we, you can change the uh, attributes of the ride that you want to change. Now, for this uh, back spike here, I only want the uh, ride type to be different. So here I select ride type and then we select junior coaster, select apply, select the changes. And now this part of the ride here has become a different ride type. And now the lift hill looks more like what you would normally see on a family boomerang. Now, this is not the only thing you can do with this uh, plugin. Now, for example, um, let's say your uh, your ride is a giga coaster ride now one thing the giga coaster has over other rides at the moment is that it has higher booster speeds now let's say you want to have a different track type for your giga coaster but you want to keep the normal booster speeds so something which you could do is change the ride to a giga coaster like it was and here we select all color schemes and then we simply select a different track type. So let's say uh, we want the entire ride uh, track to be uh, yeah, the Twister roller coaster track. Alright, so as you can see the ride type of the ride is still Giga Coaster, but all the track looks like the Twister coaster track. So since the ride technically is still a Giga Coaster, it will still have the same booster speeds that a Giga Coaster normally has. But the track looks like the Twister Coaster track. So yeah, just another thing you can do with this uh, plugin. Now the ride type is not the only thing we can change. Uh, we can, for example, also change the visibility of a part of the ride or the entire ride. So uh, let's select Alternative Color Scheme 1 again. And here I'm going to set the checkbox for visibility. And I'm going to set it to invisible. 
We then apply selected changes. Now this part of the track has become invisible. Now if I go in the tile inspector and I select this tile here, you can see the track is still there, but the visibility checkbox has been turned off. Now we can also make it visible again by setting this box to visible. And you can see the track is, uh, appears again. Now uh, we can also toggle chain lift on or off. So now it has no chain lift. Now it has chain lift. Now uh, this can uh, come in handy, for example, uh, so what I sometimes see people do by accident is that they have the cheat enabled to allow building chain lift on, uh, on all track pieces. And then by accident they um, build chain lift on their entire coaster which can sometimes be uh, bad. For example, for a shuttle coaster, it would, would mean that the coaster may fly off at the end. Uh, with this plugin, it's really easy to just to toggle the chain lift off for the entire track, or for part of the track, if that's what you want. Okay, and then finally, uh, we can also change the height uh, of a uh, part of the track, or the entire ride, if that's what you want. So uh, here we just select, uh, for example, one unit, and now this entire track is one unit higher. We can keep doing this. And we can also lower it using this plugin. Now it's at the normal height again. So yeah, this, uh, I think this plugin is really neat and uh, can come in really handy in some situations. Now, a situation where this plugin is particularly useful now is for example, uh, let's do something really silly. Let's say I'm building a steel wild mouse, but I want to have a loop in the track. Now, um, what I would normally do is uh, build the steel wild mouse as, use, as usual, but then when I, whenever I want a loop, uh, I would set the ride type to a looping coaster. That actually doesn't allow me to build the loop because the vehicles don't have sprites for it. Let me enable the cheat to enable all drawable track pieces. So now I'm able to build a loop here. Let's uh, do the smaller loop. There we go. And here I want to continue building the track as Steel Belt Mouse again. Alright, this is a very silly example. Now, previously, what you would then have to do uh, later was to um, yeah, build some, some uh, looping coaster track in the other direction, like so, in order for the loop to show. And that is actually no longer uh, necessary if you use this plugin. So I'm just going to delete the loop. I'm going to change the, this entire ride to looping roller coaster track. I'm going to uh, recolor this coaster track here in the middle. I'm just going to use a different color now, just so it shows. Okay, and then we go to the ride. Wait, uh, first I uh, change the track back to a uh, steel belt mouse track. And then I go to the Ride Vehicle Editor plugin. I select this Steel Belt Mouse, Steel Belt Mouse 1. And then I'm going to select Alternative Color Scheme 1. And I'm going to change this to the Looping Roller Coaster Track. And as you can see, now the loop shows. And we didn't have to build an extra track here. This is all the same ride. This part is still Wild Mouse 1. And this part is still Wild Mouse 1 as well. Now, uh, one thing you'll have to keep in mind is that uh, if you use the Allow Arbitrary Ride Type uh, Changes Cheat, which is over here, if you use that to change the ride type again, all your changes here are undone. So, for example, if I change the whole ride type uh, into a wooden Wild Mouse, you can see the loop is uh, invisible again, because the whole ride type has been changed to the steel wild mouse again. So if you made any changes on the right uh, on the right type using the right editor plugin, then you'll have to do those changes again. Right, I think uh, the right editor plugin is a great plugin. I've already used it in quite a few situations. And I especially love the fact that you no longer have to merge any new rides when you put ride elements on a ride that it's normally not supposed to have. So yeah, great uh, plugin. And it definitely has some really neat features. Okay, as per usual, I'm going to add another patron to the park as an entertainer.
All right, but think, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. It's truly appreciated, and I hope you enjoy your spot here in the park. All right, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If the tutorial is useful for you, um, yeah, it would be great if you could like this video. Uh, it would really help out my channel. And I would love to hear what you think of this tutorial in the comments. And if you want to see more of these videos, you can always subscribe. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.